Dogecoin has recently become the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency. And when you stop to think about it, it's absurd. What started as a meme is now one of the best performers in the crypto market, but how did it get there and why has Ethereum dropped out of the race? Join us today as we look at the second biggest traditional currency and other big updates from the crypto world. Starting with the week's main highlight, Dogecoin has been skyrocketing. The meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin has reportedly risen up the ranks and is now the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency by market value as a result of the Ethereum merge. Consequently, Ethereum lost its position as the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency, but don't worry if you're unfamiliar with the merge, as we'll get to it shortly. The market capitalization of Dogecoin has estimated to be 7.9 billion. This market cap has surpassed that of Ethereum, Litecoin, and Monero. Although Dogecoin is listed as the second largest proof of work cryptocurrency, it trails Bitcoin by a wide margin. Top of the list, Bitcoin currently has a market cap of over $379 billion. And taking into account the ranking of all cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin is ranked in the 10th spot alongside coins like Ripple, Solana, and Cardano. Dogecoin's accomplishments are truly praiseworthy considering how poorly it was received upon its launch and how many people believed it would never become a significant cryptocurrency. After the news of the mean coin becoming the second largest crypto surfaced, Dogecoin supporters went bananas thinking who would have anticipated this would have happened. But they're correct. No one could have foreseen Dogecoin's rise to fame inside the Bitcoin industry. When it was first established, everyone thought it was a joke. The concept of Dogecoin, which was created by Jackson Palmer and Billy Marcus, was sparked by a meme, literally. Since its launch, Dogecoin has gradually grown in acceptance among the cryptocurrency community. Moreover, how it works. We are aware the idea for cryptocurrencies included decentralization as a major component. To make that happen, a method of transaction confirmation independent of financial institutions was required, and the earliest response to this problem was known as proof of work. The process of creating new blocks of transactions to a cryptocurrency's blockchain is known as proof of work or POW. In this scenario, the task consists of creating a hash string with the length that matches the goal hash for the current block. This gives the miner the ability to earn rewards by adding blocks to the blockchain. Because this is the consensus mechanism used by the first cryptocurrency Bitcoin, cryptocurrency was first based on proof of work. It's highly renowned for its security, but also has a negative influence on the environment and is inefficient. Proof of work requires a lot of energy and may not scale well to handle the enormous volume of transactions that blockchains like Ethereum can produce. Following up, an alternative to proof of work has been developed. Due to the demanding process, proof of work uses a lot of electricity and power to run large mining machines, which is obviously bad for the environment. Since proof of work has its limitations, Ethereum's smart developers have created a brand new method called proof of stake. In general, proof of stake blockchains use a network of validators who donate or stake their own cryptocurrency in exchange for the opportunity to get to validate new transactions, update the blockchain, and get a reward. This method works a lot like proof of work. Being a validator involves a great deal of responsibility and technical expertise, but since the stakes are so high, the reward is also equally great. Ethereum claims this process is 99% more efficient and is much faster and less resource intensive. Proof of stake methods are used by other cryptocurrencies like Atmos, Cardano, and Tezos. The aim is to increase the speed and efficiency while reducing fees for crypto miners. Moving on, what is the real reason behind Dogecoin's astronomical rise to fame? We are going to the moon. Some Dogecoin fans would have you believe this is all there is to know about Dogecoin. To be honest, they're kind of right. Dogecoin doesn't require much thought. The cryptocurrency is frequently purchased and held by supporters until, well, something amazing occurs like it did today. The first cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, was an astounding technical advancement that allowed anyone to exchange digital cash for negligible fees and without having to seek anyone's permission. But anyone could copy Bitcoin because it was open source and at one point everyone did. That led to the rise of clone cryptos like Peercoin and Litecoin everywhere. The humorous response to this is Dogecoin. It was created in December 2013 and is a Shibu Inu themed imitation of Bitcoin that frequently makes use of metaphors involving the moon and dogs. Dogecoin gained a passionate following very fast. People who admired the concept of cryptocurrency but wanted to mock Bitcoin were drawn to it. It also attracted individuals who enjoyed dogs. Anyone who was interested in taking part, even if they weren't very serious about cryptocurrency, was also drawn to it just for the meme culture. Lastly, the legendary Elon Musk was the one who launched Doge to the moon. Elon Musk enjoys silly things and Dogecoin is certainly silly, so you can see where this is headed. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX has frequently expressed his enthusiasm for Dogecoin, primarily through Twitter. His posts frequently drive the price of Dogecoin to all-time highs. At one point following this tweet by Musk, the price increased by more than 100%. However, when it comes to actual business, Musk is a much greater supporter of Bitcoin. After all, Tesla spent $1.5 billion on it rather than Doge and even briefly began to accept Bitcoin payments for its 
product. That's because Tesla's balance sheet is not the same as Twitter and memes. For now, given that Doge is increasing in value by the minute, nobody can forecast where the meme coin will be in a year or two. In other news, the Ethereum merge has finally happened. The biggest software update to the Ethereum blockchain has been finished after years of waiting, several delays, and false starts. The impact of that upgrade on energy use has garnered the most media attention. The change from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake made possible by the upgrade is expected to cut Ethereum's energy use by 99%. Due to the possible material and philosophical implications, the merge, which was six years in the making, is regarded by many as a turning point in the history of cryptocurrencies. After months of market instability brought on by inflation and rising interest rates, this milestone might help increase market confidence and infuse some much-needed optimism in the crypto market. Ethereum merge will demonstrate how a permissionless, decentralized network can function in an energy-efficient way without any hindrance from annoying financial institutes. A merge like this is also extremely unusual in the world of cryptocurrencies and might never occur again. With Ethereum's update, anyone will be able to launch a validator without the same resources and expertise needed for mining. And decentralization is crucial for Ethereum's foundation layer and would significantly increase the longevity and future viability of the blockchain. Moving on, Ethereum has improved its eco-friendliness, but not without some unintended consequences. Selling GPUs was popular while Ethereum used proof of work. However, after the merge, many GPU owners are now losing a lot of money. According to South China Morning Post, a media organization with a focus on Asia, the Ethereum implosion prompted a drop in GPU prices in China, which led sales to their lowest level in history. Vendors have been forced to abruptly lower GPU pricing by three times due to low demand from miners who previously purchased pricey cards like NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 380, RTX 380 Ti, or RTX 3090. The collapse of Bitcoin, China's prohibition on mining, and even the new COVID lockdowns, which have only made matters worse, are just a few of the unfavorable scenarios around the cryptocurrency market. However, for the time being, everyone, including gamers, designers, AI programmers, astronomers, and alien hunters, have a small evil grin on their faces. Lastly, XPR is well on its way to take over Bitcoin. In 2012, Ripple developed its own cryptocurrency XPR to support its payment processing services. According to its website, it was designed to be a better, faster, cheaper, and greener than any other digital currency. And though it took some time, XPR has appeared to have finally demonstrated its superiority to Bitcoin. Compared to Bitcoin and the dollar, the price of XPR has increased by almost 75 and 60 percent respectively. It's pretty amazing considering the dollar is strengthening like never before. On the other hand, Bitcoin has been trading below 20000 for some time. The drop was brought on by a volatile week that saw the U.S. Federal Reserve and other central banks raise interest rates sharply as well as declining economic indicators that are increasingly pointing towards recession. Although the future of the market is not yet clear, things are looking good for XPR and Doge supporters for now. We would love to know what you think about the crypto market and where it's headed. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.